Hello, Don here, and welcome to another 5 underrated anime video. Ready for more anime to add to your list, unless of course you've already seen them. But without further ado, let us begin. The first one is how heavy are the dumbbells you lift? And I honestly don't know why some people were turned off this anime. Was it too sexy with the girls? Or was it Macho constantly taking his clothes off, distracting you from enjoying the said girls? Or did I just nail it for both reasons? Well, it sucks for them to not being able to enjoy this educational, edgy, and hilarious anime. It actually teaches you to an extent about proper exercise with itchy moments and character interactions that'll make you crack up every time. Add that fun earworm of an OP theme, and what more could he ask for? The next one is Juni Tizen Zodiac War. I know this one probably went under the radar of anime fans. So let's find a way to distract it so I don't spoil it. Imagine Game of Thrones mixed with the Hunger Games. It is action packed and no one is safe from death. And I can't really show much, otherwise it will kind of spoil the surprises it has. The next one is Carnival. Insert the nth time, the millionth, hundredth, whatever time I that I say I love colorful anime. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't even know I don't even know if I remember this anime completely. It's about Nai who is searching for his friend who mysteriously disappeared with a bracelet being his only clue. He gets saved by a thief named Gareki from a monster and sees that the bracelet has the insignia for an elite group called Circus on it. Thus, he takes an interest in the said bracelet and takes Nye with him. I'm not gonna lie, I, I went to Anime Planet to get this info. It's been quite a while since I've seen this anime, so let's call that a refresher for both you and me. It kind of left on a cliffhanger if I'm remembering correctly, so maybe it didn't get po So I'm just assuming it probably didn't co get popular enough to get a season two. Oh, this next one. It's kind of f funny to put me on this list, but considering an, a certain award it got, this next one is Made in Abyss. If you've seen my top five anime that can make you cry video, or basically top five sad anime, then you know that this was an anime that made me cry most recently. This is an anime that made me cry for like two to three minutes straight. I don't say which part made me cry. I may have that in that other video. I don't know why this is considered an underrated anime. Since it did win an Anime of the Year award and best score, God, Kevin Penkin is the fucking best at, the, at being at all the music in this an, in these anime. Just go and watch it and enjoy a great journey with hardships to boot. And don't forget to watch the third movie. The first two movies are recaps. The third one is a sequel. This next one is the whole Magi series, Magi: The Labyrinth of Magic. Monkey the Kingdom of Magic, and Monkey Adventure of Sinbad. I had to include all of it. I couldn't help it. First off, The Labyrinth of Magic is Season 1. Next is the Kingdom of Magic, and Adventure of Sinbad is a sort of prequel talking about the character Sinbad, obviously. For some reason, not a lot of people really talk about Magi anymore. It has so many lovable characters, a deep story with a lot of these characters. It has both action, humor, great animation, and beautiful visuals. Go watch it right now or, you know, when you can. And so, there are five random underrated anime, or at least I think so. Now go out there, watch some great anime. Also, do you think any of these five are underrated or am I too lenient with how I view anime? Check out some of my other videos. Hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos. And I hope you'll return for more. Bye-bye.